Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're gonna make a console application that can take inputs and be all fancy and have kind of flags and everything, have a help page, have description and everything with not that much code. So the first thing we have to do is add the .NET package. By the way, we're gonna be using my console application I did for the Tinder swiping. If you haven't checked out those videos, make sure to check them out. We basically use Azure ML to swipe on girls on Tinder. So check them out, the link will be down below. But now let's get started with this video. So first we have to do .NET add a package system command line and the version because it's a beta, we have to actually add the version. I'm gonna link the command down below, but I'm also gonna link to the Nougat package so you can go and get the latest version when you're doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and add it and I have already added it and I have added the system.command line and system command line dot invocation. So Usually when you're getting a command line application and you have arguments, so for example, in here I modified the launch on um, VS Code to pass a flag and a test. So let's just run it and we'll see how we get it. So we basically will get the arguments as just like a string so we can see here, we just get it like t dash test. So if we were actually gonna do it, we'll have to break it up and make sure and then match each flag to each thing and everything will be a bunch of code just to make something easy. So probably someone already did it. So we found that library that I, we already installed and now let's go through the code that we have to add. So I usually put it in an input manager just so my main state is kind of clean, but in here we can do it all in one and we'll we'll go through everything so in here we have the root command so this is just like the command the main command so that's like the name of your executable and you put a description so in here we're just saying it helps you find love blah 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 and then you can have options so these are kind of like the flags and in here you can put different aliases for them in here i put like dash dash token so you have to give us a tinder token when you log in and I just put the description, your Tinder token, it can be whatever, and you can set it up to be required, not required. If it's not required, then you can run the code without it, sorry, the command without it, and it won't fail. If it's required, it will fail. And so then we add it to the root command. And another thing is like, you might have commands within your thing, within your console application. So like, you might have like, I don't know, like Tinder swiper, swipe Tinder as a command or swipe Bumble. By the way, if you want me to do the same with Bumble, leave your comments down below and I'll set, a, set up a Bumble swiper. So in here, we're just creating an empty string for the token that we're gonna do. And we're creating the command handler. So this is gonna tell it like what match with what. And we're saying for the root command, create a new handler that takes a string. You can make it up to seven options. So you can have up to seven new options per um, command. And we're doing it that it takes a string. You can make it int or something and it'll just cast to it. And so then you match. So then I'm setting up the token string to match token. And then you run the invoke async and you pass the argument. So that's going to look at the arguments and see if you match the, the commands and everything. And if it's zero, it means it was successful. So if it's not successful, we just return because we don't want to do this. And then after that, you just continue. So we're just gonna uh, build it with this and run it. And you'll see, so as I mentioned before in the launch.json, I modified it to have t-test. So basically we added a token name test because I'm not giving you a real token. And if we see here, it passes the, the token string as test. So that that's working. And we're gonna stop that. And now we're gonna do it in kind of command line. And we're gonna just run the simple application. Since we set up to require the token, it'll fail. And it'll tell us that token is required. And then here it gives you all the information of like, basically the description we set up and the options and in here it tells you the options of which ones are required. And then you can do dash version and it'll show you the version. And this is all you stuff you get for free. So you get the version, you get the help 
and it's all like the formatting it looks very nice so for example if i do tinder swiper dash h it gives me all the information again so it makes it very easy to create like kind of like easy inputs as you saw we created in a few minutes uh, if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe down below and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one